International Airport here and we are getting our luggage this woman over here has used the excuse to guard the luggage to get out of work what a whip Mike and Pat here's where we're staying this is Samuel's house He's a pastor. There's the little door there is the kitchen. Oh, there comes one of the girls out of the bathroom. Jeanette, and there's the girls room, dormitory. And there's Tony. And there's our room there, and there's Samuel and his family's little dwelling. Oh, there's, hey, Steph, coming out of the kitchen. There's so we can wash our face and brush our teeth, and here's, the, where's the mountains? These are the mountains, as you can see from our backyard. And I'm brushing my teeth. She's brushing her teeth. I have not brushed oh, my teeth yet. Oh, go brush your teeth! Oh. And es oh, this is Donnie and Esther. These are Samuel's children. Donnie's seven, Esther's five. Wait! Show me your little baby toys! Show me your baby toys! Esther! Babe! Babe! Even in, Guat even in Guatemala, it's babe. Here's the view from the school that we'll be working on. Come up this road. As you can see, the building here and the building over here. Here's the existing school. Laura trying to stay out of the camera. This is the work that's been done to this point. And then some people working on it. And we're going to try and improve it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> this is the school building. Back in there, and all of our gang waiting to be helpful. Oh, we call it the Niños! Podemos darle un aplauso a su colegio en esta mañana. Qué bueno. Y sabemos que hay otro colegio también que nos está visitando en esta mañana. Vamos a darle un aplauso a ellos también. Muy bien. Ahora.
viene el segundo drama con Tony. in there anywhere. Where's Tony? There's Stuart. Here we are at the zoo. See, we are at the zoo. There she is. There you are. See yourself? This is the proper rainy time. Now look, we're showing the proper time for going a during the rainy season. Notice that I too am wearing a rain gear. Like him. Oops! Hola! The niños de Samuel. Well, here we are on the job site. Here we are. Here we are. Turn around, everybody. Look here. Uh, here we are. There's Laura. Let's see, Laura. Jeanette braiding her hair. Hey, and hey, where's, where's the guys? Where's the guys? Where's the guys? Tony? Those you're on. You're the only one that's here. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell me we're here again. Is this the second day in the row, girls? Uh, yes. Yes. Guys have okay. been late. late. All right, let's make them do push-ups. All, All right. right. There's the volcano. Um, this is a typical morning here. Cloudy. Roosters. There's this, this village. And there's the rooster. Oh, no, that's Esther. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Here we are with the girls already working. Well, except for Sherry and uh, Carrie there. <laughs> There's nothing for them to do. Jill, shoveling. Dice hola Samuel. Hola. Hola Samuel. Samuel. 
We are staying at his house. His beautiful wife, Maritza. Ah, and there's okay. Stephanie. Here we see Tony working pretty soon. There's his shovel. There's Laura over there in the background. So we have proof that Tony is indeed shoveling dirt. There he is working. There's some more girls over here working. Some men have shown up, but they're not our guys. Some of their local guys working on the project. There we have Pastor Tony digging ditches. And Laura, digging ditches. Laura, you're the prettiest I'm ditch digger I ever my, saw. Finally getting to use my physics after all. Uh, <laughs> really. Leverage. Here we are in the escuela. Hi. Hanging streamers, looking hard. Now that the guys finally showed up. But they are not working hard. Hi. Here's one of the students. Como se llama? Como? Mario. Hola, Mario. Here we have Stuart and Dan working hard. Hey there. Hello. Stuart's mighty quiet today. Here's the countryside, mountainside. Dice hola, Noé. Hola. Dice hola. These are the men who work with Mike. There's Robert laying brick. He's a mason now. Forget Taekwondo. Got a new job. This is the way you work metal in the old days before machines. Imagine doing this five days a week, eight hours a day. That's why you should go to college so you can work in air conditioning. Like Americans do. And voila. Turn of the century metal work. Wait, I didn't see it. <laughs> Whole pile of them. Tony, before Tony gets the metal, our friend Laura here cuts them up. Jeremy laying some brick. Become a mason. My first one! Yay! Yay! You already banged my finger! Jeremy. You learned masonry, man? I banged this thing right here. Everybody at New Covenant! Look how skinny I am. Yay! He's fasting. I need money for food. <laughs> yes, we have Stuart working. Documented proof. They were an hour late, you know. Kids from the school eating lunch today. Hola, Marita. Hola, <laughs> Okay, here's the gang assembling for work. Second day. Here's our progress. Built a lot of block. Framed out and poured in between. Started up here. Believe it or not, dug a lot more in here and threw a lot of dirt over that huge pile. All the cement that we pour in. And the girls worked on building a bathroom, which will be nice to have today. Here's how we make cement the old fashioned way. First, we get four. Okay, back to making cement. See the dirt there? You need four wheelbarrows of the skirt. This is for foundation. Then they fill up the wheelbarrows with rock. And then we're going to pour the rock inside the, okay. inside the dirt there. Can bring some rock over here, please? Some rock. And then we pour in the cement and the water and we make cement. The cement that the guys are getting ready to mix is going to go in these things right here. Yeah, he's these middle foundations. So Alright, mixing I wanna, I wanna really um, cement in a bucket uh, and yes. laying block. Mike there supervising to make sure it's done right. Called so him a blockhead. Called him a blockhead. <laughs> I meant to say a block layer. A blo 
Okay, then we make a big crater to pour the rocks in the dirt. And we need one child in a pink sweater to make out the combination. Okay, here they are pouring in the cement. Jeremy there working hard. Four. I want you to know I'm not in the picture, but I have done this. Here's the kind of day we're working on today. The picture of what's around us in the village. Four, four wheelbarrows of sand, two bags of cement. Everything has to be mixed together. Not an easy process, but we can handle it. But it's a lot of fun. Here we go. Mixing up the cement and the sand. Working hard there. Hey, here's the big crater for pouring in the rocks. We can see how hard our man Jeremy works. All right, now we pour in the rocks and the water, and, and then we're gonna mix it. Hi, Colin. More rocks. I was sacrificed. Got it. This is good stuff. It was okay. Two, three. This is Chris and his boy Raul. He said hola. Okay, there's Jeanette on the island of rocks, the little moat of water. That's the next step. Here they are mixing the rock and the cement. You can imagine what a difficult job that is to move rock. The sun and the that is becoming cement. This has to be really, really soupy. We you got to mix in all the dirt. Start throwing this wet stuff over there. Jeremy gets in there. Just like soup. Has to be very, very soupy. Very soupy. This cement, this cement has to be very, very wet. So they're soupy. moving the whole pile over to the water. Soupy is the word. Still mixing cement. Typical village people work in the farm. This is right next to the school. They've been out here all day hoeing these rows, planting flowers. Here's the cement line. They're going to dump it in over there where Bart is. Here's the kids giving out the shoes. So far we haven't had any really hard cases like last year. But still, they're very much in need of shoes. This is a typical shoe here. And they walk on very rocky terrain, very dirty, and it's very cold also in the mornings here. Typical shoe for the girls, just jellies or really thin. Okay. Here's his new shoes. His old shoes. And he really likes his shoes. Dice hola. 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 Mira. Hola. 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 See? And here she is with her new shoes. Sylvia likes to get in the picture there. Okay. Te gustan los zapatos? Milan. Dice gracias, Iglesia. Gracias. Sherry, the guardian of lunch. And Stuart, finally taking a break. Whoa. There's Robert. Say hi, Robert. Hi, Rachel. So far. What happened to you, Jill? Aaron poured water at me. But why? I don't know. Okay, this is the cement that we poured. We went in here. Okay, now here's Danny, Mauricio, you know way, which is Noah, and Jeanette. Hola! They are tying the steel to make the whatever that is to pour the, the cement. See how they tie the steel by hand? Which we don't do anymore. <laughs> Mauricio and Noe are fine Christian men. I'm glad to be working with them. Okay, this is the Guatemala Bond stew. Special. You can eat this, it'll feel like concrete or stuff. Yeah, you, you'll get rock solid for Christ. <laughs> You're a great dirt hefter, babe. Um, Hola, Jorge! Hola! Hola, guys!
Here's the yard where we're staying. What? Let's see all the clothes on the line. The mountains barely, you can see in the background. Here's the bathroom. And there's the pila, where you can wash your face and brush your teeth, but you don't drink the water. The standing water. It's always full of standing water. There's the girls' dorm. And here's the girls. The other side. There's Maritza and Esther, Tony. And more clothes on the line. Stayed. Pretty interesting. And there's Laura. Here's the street where we live. <laughs> typical seeing a man with a wheelbarrow. Pretty typical. Here's our house. So we live. There's some well. Let's go. We'll go down to the tienda and get a coke. Oh. This is the street we live on here, and we're gonna go down to the tienda and get a coke. The lady with the sticks. Hey, Donny. It was Donny. See it on the screen. There's Tony inside the Latienda. This is the local 7-Eleven. There's Jeanette buying. This is the end of our street. <laughs> Just gotta get ready to carry that. This is how you carry it. Oh, typical day of business. The man and his horse. Watch this guy down there. That's how you carry a bag. Uh, you carry a bag, Guatemalan style. See the man with the the strap on his head? He's going to carry those bags down the hill. On his head. Samuel. Here we are going down the hill. Very steep hill, as you can see. And I have on my reefs. Now here's the local dumping ground. Gotta hold on uh, tight here. Uh -huh. This is a common road yeah. for walking. Yeah. Go Say hi. Hi, we're on the trail to wherever Samuel is taking us. We have no idea where that is. Look at the people down there walking. Hola. <laughs> okay. have no idea where we're going, but we're following. Okay. If anyone's hungry, here's a grub for lunch. No moving anymore. There's Santiago where we came from. And we're way back here now. Did my imagination or the hills always seem steeper on the way back up? Tienda didn't have any cold ones, so we're heading for this tienda because we want our cokes cold. And here it is. The tienda was hopefully the cold coke. This is the local 7-Eleven. Where you can get everything that you need. Here we are still. Santiago, and today we're going to minister at this church. Down that road is the town square. We'll see it perhaps later.
poder de Jesús que Él murió y resucitó amén ¿cuánto lo creen hermanos? yo creo que tenemos This is how we oh, travel from place so to place in Guatemala. This is a pickup truck. <laughs> it seats 27. Yeah. Come on. This is Mike's church in the city. Zona 1. Zone 1, which is kind of a poor area. Probably a high crime area. This is the building that we painted last year. So you can see that it still looks nice. This is Omar. Omar! He's our interpreter. Siendo cristiano no solamente significa ir hacia el cielo. Muchas veces cuando nosotros predicamos el evangelio, le digamos a la gente que mira, si uno quiere ir, si uno quiere ir al cielo, uno tiene que entrar. Uh, es el Juan capítulo 14. city market, locking up valuable things in the trunk. Here's the city market, we're going in. 
<laughs> buy something, ask her buy something. <laughs> Hey, um, how much do an um postage cost if I'm gonna try to accept it? Is there a country in South America? I would ask for Jorge because he does it. What did you put in here? Okay, have you have you bought anything interesting? Yes. Well, then what would that be? Whatever this wooden thing is with spoons and forks and stuff. She bought a hat. Okay. And a hat. And, and, and that's well, that's hat. pretty much a picture says it all. And have, have you bought anything interesting? What? Have, have you bought, bought anything, anything interesting? Inter interesting? That's a really cool hat. That is a cool hat. Let's see it on. It matches. I don't look really good in hats, but... It's you. It's you. It's a Twiggy thing. <laughs> Coke in a bag, Guatemalan style. Show Stuart. Grab it around the straw like Coke in a bag. This is how you get a cup in Guatemala. Hi guys. Are you bored? Yes, Luke is very bored. Are you Dan? I'm getting there. Explain to everyone about this bonfire. It's cold. It's in a turtle shell that we found on the beach. Okay. We're going to put it here because it's a little bit of rain. And, and what are the rules regarding Stuart? <laughs> Stuart cannot be by the open flame or at least must be downwind. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Jenny, I'm going to the fire. <laughs> And there it is. It just needs a match. I'm going to go get some matches. Should we round up everybody or anyone? And there you go. It's building. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the hair dryer. And then we got Make it work, Jeanette. Make it work. And for Samuel and Money. You gotta explain the amount to him, babe. Huh? You gotta explain the amount. Okay. I'm gonna go get a hair dryer. Oh, it's, it's from all of us. Yes, they told us. Shall we sing? Yeah. Let's sing. Okay. Sing. Okay, 
And these shoes belong to Stephanie. We see that she has indeed been working. Come in, boss! Okay, this is, you can see we poured uh, that right there and that right there, and we're working on the back, getting it up. And this is the big thing Mike wanted done, is now we're moving dirt. This is gonna be floor level right here. And we're moving dirt. This is dirt that has been moved before several times, but the trick is to never let dirt stay in one place more than a couple days. you got to keep moving it around. So we're moving this big pile of dirt over here, and it's going to be a floor, and then we can start on the actual walls. Uh, and it's pretty exciting. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Robert. This is fun. What are you making? I'm plumbing the line for my brick. So Which number of brick is this? Wall. Brick times three? On brick times uh, three. There's a third time in the rain I've got to do this same brick. Wow. Because I plumb it and then it gets wet and then it changes its balance. Wow. And all this here, see, people? But this is fun. Robert has done this. Robert laid this whole thing. It worked very hard. And he didn't give it one karate chop. <laughs> you know what? In the rain. Freezing. Because nobody bothered to tell us not to come to them. Today we came to work and the guys didn't show up. We just want you to know. Most people don't have telephones. The truth is, Robert and I do think about the girls. Okay, I just want to show our progress for today. As you can see, we 
and making cement. There's a little trail that leads up to where we pour it. Yesterday we had to clear that off, dig some trails in the dirt back there for wheelbarrows. Right here. As you can see because we're pouring foundations. We got that one poured yesterday. That looks lovely. In the midst of much rain, we got her done and today we'll be trying to pour the remainder. Of course, we'll be moving dirt and finishing laying block today. We are removing the forms that we poured yesterday so that we can pour more today. You have your shovel. Express for me your philosophy of working here in Guatemala. My philosophy of working here? Uh -huh. Well, first of all, I'd like to say it's a pleasure to work here, building the kingdom of God. Here we are, another, another beautiful day in Guatemala, Santiago, building up the schoolhouse, and we're working hard. <laughs> cool, and you are, you're digging sand. Yeah, I'm putting this sand back in place. Cool, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, we're coming close to the end of our last day. Let's see what kind of progress we've made here. I washed this with rock. City Stewart's been laying block, right Stu? That's right. And it looks pretty good, almost up to the foundation here. Got a couple people over here tying forms so we can pour cement down in them. And a lot of people moving that big hill over here into this big hole. Okay, so yeah, that top right there is floor level all the way around, so we have to fill it in. And that is above floor level, so it has to be moved here. This used to be a dirt pile but it's gone now, we moved it there. I have to say something. Here's my wife, she is the hoe chick. She has her hoe. Hey, you know, I thought this was a high calling mission trip, not teen missions. <laughs> yeah, this Duh. is boot camp, babe. So anyway, this is the kind of things we got done. It looks good. Put a couple more roadblock block on here. Here's the gang. Busily moving dirt. Here's the back line, so we've got it up to ready to put the top form on. And here's the form that we poured today. Okay, here it is. And Laura, right, who Laura. lost a pick. I've been busy around here. Yesterday we poured this, and they've been putting more foundation, as you can see, for the bathrooms. Yeah, there we go. There's the gang. Hi. Busy work site. Like I said, we poured all this, and today, even more concrete and the here, and a little in here. So that's it. In about a half an hour, we'll be done. And this is what we've accomplished. Hey, one. Giving a few shoes at the school. Are these all the shoes that we have left? Okay, we're cleaning up. This is it. We've done all the damage we can do. And what is your opinion of this week so far? This week? Yeah. You can see Luke is speechless. <laughs> and that about says it all. And there you have it. Poured a lot of cement. Dug a lot of dirt. Made a lot of block. <laughs> poured a lot of forms. It's time to clean up the tools and go home. Forgot to get the chickens who are next door and with us through the entire ordeal. Beautiful field that the man who lives next door hoed while we were here. This is his house. Tall people in the back. Here we have the final moments at our construction project here in Santiago. What you're seeing here is where the bathrooms are going to be. Here we have a bunch of happy youth from High Calling that have spent, spent their time, their finances, their faith, their efforts to come here and help the people. We're real proud of them and we know that the work that they've laid here is going to serve the, the children of this community for a lot of, lot, lot of years, maybe up until Jesus comes. This is High Calling from Central Boulevard.
in Santiago, Guatemala. Here's High Calling from Central Brevard, Florida. They're, this is their last day of their construction project. They've been working on the bathrooms. They've been building walls for the schoolroom. They're happy because tomorrow is going to be a free day, a tourist day, a day where they're going to have lots of fun. They've worked hard. They've invested a lot of money. We're proud of them, and we know that the people of this community are going to enjoy their labors, possibly up until Jesus comes. <laughs> this is this is Mike Black from Mike Black Ministries <laughs> here in Santiago, Guatemala, Central America. Hi, Mom. <laughs> here we are going to take the bus. A new experience in our travels. Oh. Okay, we're going to the bus now. We have to pay. Uh, Fortunately, Guatemala is full of school buses. It is the major form of public transportation. Hello! Hola, <laughs> Samuel! Alright, you're going to be preaching in a minute, right? Yeah, I'll right. right. Let's check it out. Are you clean? Let's make sure you're clean. Yeah. Uh, hold up. Yeah, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, check. No, no it's good. I don't see anything. Okay, we're good now. Okay. Are right, you ready? Alright, open your mouth. Let me see your teeth. Teeth, teeth. All right, no green stuff. As long as all gone. Okay, get down uh, further. Right. Check all the way down. Okay, okay. I think we're looking good. Through the ears. Yep. Pull it close for a close-up. Check the ears. Good. Okay. Oh yeah, that one's good. Okay, okay. let's check the armpit for vibrations and see if the screen would crack it. Because the smell. Uh, Vibrate a little uh, bit. It's up five decibels. Oh, oh it's scary. Pretty scary. It's getting right. close. close enough. Not too okay. close. Just want you to know that this video is that in one. color. It is in color. Okay, this is good. This that is one's good. good. Yeah, okay. Good. All right, well, thank you. God bless you. This is where Jorge lives. And this is Jorge's church. And we're going to be here tonight. See, last year we were working here. What we did was we hauled a lot of dirt over. And we leveled this floor. And then, uh, which was a lot of work because it was low. And then at the end of leveling it, you can see here they do a feeding program. They have a lot of kids and youth here. At the end of leveling it, we, uh, we poured cement on just about eight feet on that end for a stage. But now, as you can see, they've continued and they've poured cement all the way out. Now they only have about eight feet left of dirt. So they're getting there. That's a tin church, tin roof. Got some lights up. And they're looking pretty good. There's the front area. And we brought the. Okay, this is this is dancing lessons. Isn't, isn't it lovely? Jeanette looks positively enthralled in Jeremy's suave dancing lesson. There's the youth. They're having their first youth retreat coming up in July. It's going to be a lot like one of ours, but just in Spanish, and it's going to be good. Guys, get a move. And as you can see, the church and the gang getting ready. Here's the windows that can be put down for later. Like I said, here's the first portion that we poured. It came to about okay. there. También tenemos la visita de hermano Samuel Hernández. Como, como que hay libertad en nosotros, amén. Traemos sacrificio de alabanza. 
Tony tiene un saludo para ustedes. Hermano Rastúbal va a interpretarle a él. Uh, we are really excited to be here. Estamos muy emocionados de para estar aquí con ustedes. Uh, we, were, we were here one year ago. Estuvimos aquí hace un año atrás. And I, I got to teach in your church. Y enseñé aquí en la iglesia. And I had a great time. Y tuve un buen tiempo con ustedes. And I've been looking forward to coming back again. Y Amen. tengo mucha anticipación para estar aquí con ustedes. I see you, you've improved it a little bit since then. Uh, veo que las cosas han mejorado aquí. Hey, I trust that God is here to be a blessing to you people. Estamos aquí para bendecir a ustedes. You are going to know it's a blessing yeah. for us to be able to be here. Pero quiero saber que es una bendición para nosotros estar aquí con ustedes. Amen. We really enjoy it. Y les amamos mucho. Amen. 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 Here we are once again leaving Santiago. 
traveling in our usual form of travel. Yeah, I'm sorry, St. Lucas. We'll be heading down the mountain for our free day of swimming and such. First, we'll eat gasoline. Some things, where is that? Yeah, these are the same all over the world. Here we are at Rock Reina where we're going to go swimming. Hot, volcanic hot springs where the water is 85 degrees. Here's the important rules. No food, uh, no skinny guys and girls in modest clothing. Uh, apparently you have to be buff and wear a bikini. Here it is, Rock Reina, the heated pool. And it looks lovely. And we're going in as soon as we can get in. With the beautiful view, the mountains all around us. You came here with Chris? No. You guys came here with Chris? The mountains in the distance. Here we are getting ready to change and go swimming. Again, pools all around. Let me just show you the view from here. Come up on a beautiful lake. Mountainside. Canal running out into the lake. And there we have a cable car going up the side of the mountain. And we're not going to take that, but it looks exciting. And the girls, the girls would figure out what it was. It's just slide together, walk away. You can turn about it, your thighs have to stay together. And all those <laughs> if you're not sure, just put your hand behind your head and keep your thighs together. How's that? Go. Okay. In honor of the Olympics, this is an Olympic event. It's a grueling event. People have died in this event, but not today because we're professionals. And <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do up, guys. synchronized swimming, which is they're right now in Atlanta. They're doing this kind of stuff. But here, it's even tougher because of the altitude. We're at 5,000 feet. We've got to as much air. So we can't stand it for long enough moves. Okay. We'll start with the basic beginner moves. Let's see the hand moves now. Ready, guys? One hand and two hand. It's a two handed synchronized On three. One, two, three. Oh wow! Wow! Oh, that's awesome. Let's 
stick your legs up out of the water and kick the move. Turn, 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 Ninguno lo hizo. Alright, that one didn't work. That's pretty much all we've learned. That was a 10. Oh, wait a minute. This guy's going to do a new event. This is individual synchronized swimming. It's a boober! Here's Chris playing with his son Raul. He's been adopted. And his Raul's little brother. This is Chris and Raul. My name is Raul. My name is Raul. <laughs> Samuel, y Maritza, y Tony, y Silvia Esta. Here we are in the Guatemala airport. We've come through customs and we're heading to gate six so we can leave. Okay, this is what's going to take us home. And here we are. Yeah, the way, Stuart. Here we are, waiting to return to the United States. Jeez. Jeremy, what are you looking forward to most when you get back? Blowing kisses with my butt. <laughs> Stuart, okay. what are you looking forward to most when we get back? I don't know, what am I looking forward to? Flushing toilet paper? Uh, yeah, flushing toilet paper, there you go. Eating fast food? Yeah, it, no, no, if it's yellow, let it mellow, if it's brown, okay. flush it down, no, flush it all down. Any comments? <laughs> Um, no. Okay, no comments. Aaron? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this video because I think I look so good. Okay. <laughs> and no, no comments regarding Guatemala or the trip? Then. No, nothing's as important as me. <laughs> okay, Dan, this is your last chance to redeem the guys and say something intelligent. I want to be able to buy the food that I see on the street and eat it and not worry about whether it's got stuff in it. Cool. Oh, 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 yeah. Babe? <laughs> One last time before you get back. You miss, you miss your doggies? No, I've passed her. It's too late. Oh, I'm going to miss Cola and Butch, even though you have to wash your hands immediately after you pet them. And, and Sylvia, when she cried this morning and clung to us like a monkey, that was sad. And I'll really be glad to have a true Diet Coke. There you go. Okay, Jill, no one escapes. Everyone must get in my own bed. Huh? Your own bed? Okay, your own bed. 
Oh yeah, my own bed. Too. Have a nice, comfortable hey, bed and a great hot shower. Uh, I thought there'd be a shower coming in there somewhere. And a bath. I really want a bath. Yeah. <laughs> really like See, we had water from what four to six every day. Yeah. Okay, two hours. I'm able to get a shower when I want. Hey, Laura. Um, I'm speechless too. Speechless. Which, uh, I think a mattress would be nice. A mattress, okay. Yeah. Are there any good comments about Guatemala that you want to add? She's I like the sad. weather. You like the weather? Yeah, it's okay. great. <laughs> I'm going to admit, I, For the children. I'm looking forward to seeing Andrew, my porcelain bathtub, <laughs> and I'm going to miss the Guatemalan people and and, um, and the blacks. And the blacks. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Esther? <laughs> Esther, you've been caught. I'm looking forward to never seeing that camera ever again. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Carrie? Carrie! Carrie's Carrie. hiding! Carrie. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to coming back to Guatemala. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Another cool hat. Go, Carrie! Another cool Go hat. Carrie. Jeremy, you want to try and say something we won't have to edit out? Yeah, I was hoping you'd do that. Um, <laughs> what did he say first? We can't repeat that on camera right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, I really miss well, the people here. I'm really glad I came. God really moved in me and everyone else here. and Just glad everyone came. And I'm really glad I got to know Carrie, even though I forgot her last night at the Reflection Dinner. Cool, cool. Okay, Stuart, you had one more then, right? Yeah, I... Um, I would have to, uh, I would have to worry about disarming myself, and I can, myself. I can, I can really, you know, uh, share my own pills. I don't have to wake up with the smell of everybody else's. Okay. Oh, <laughs> man. So that's that's important. All right. Yeah. Let's get and, and I can't wait to be back. I'm really looking forward to coming back here. All right, we're doing a camera switch. Okay. You have to hit the backlight button. Mm -hmm. backlight. See. Okay, are we there? Are we good? See. Okay, I just want you to know that right now I've been eating frijoles all week and I am methane man. <laughs> I have not been disarmed by porcelain yet. <laughs> it is our goal as a group, primarily the guys, to see if we can get the oxygen mass to drop on this flight. See? Si. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. You're on. Now we're on. I just uh, am proud of this group and happy that they did a great job and worked hard and then it's over and I get to go sleep in my big bed and eat food and bathe when I want. See. Cheer. Cool. See, they should more adventures of Bethany. All right, this is the special song that the girls sang frequently that we want to get on tape. I'll sing with you. And you're rolling. Okay, he starts. Oh no, love, 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 It's a wrap. Okay, here we are on our Iberia, flight 6110. Want to say hi? Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Hey. Oh, I just want to say hi from 30,000 feet. Hi. Hello. As you can see, we're excited, especially Jim. We're cruising. It's a pretty empty plane. And yeah, we're filling out paperwork to be in time. So this is what customs looks like trying to get back to the United States. A lot of people. Stuart's way over there in the foreigner line. Here we are, it's been a long grueling ordeal. 
Here's the bus, everyone's out of grace, we're gonna get on and go home. And that's pretty much it. Okay, here we are, we're on the bus. As you can see, we're on smooth roads. We're actually excited to be in Miami, which is kind of a scary thing. Uh, we can go to the bathroom, we can flush toilet paper. We're home, we're gonna stop and get something to eat, and that'll do it. So, it was a successful trip.